I talk about a lot of software on this channel, and it may give you the impression that I'm constantly changing my workflows, changing the apps that I'm using to do my everyday work. And while I am more adventurous than a lot of people probably with trying new software and trying new updates when they come out, I'm definitely not changing everything. <laughs> and there's a certain class of apps that I'm call forever apps that I use all the time. I have no intention of changing anytime soon. And I wanted to talk about some of those today. So first off, we have to define what I think of as a forever app. And so while no app is absolutely forever, like I, there may be some apps I'm using today that I'll use in 20 years, but odds are a lot of them will change, even if I consider them forever right now. I think of a forever app as an app where I'm using it and I'm not really browsing the alternatives. I'm not looking at updates for other apps in the category that are similar, that may make it more useful for me. Like I'm just really not paying attention to those at all. And so that's what I consider a forever app. A forever app is something where I am using it, I'm getting tons of value from it, I really enjoy it, and I'm not interested in what the competition is doing because what could they do? I'm not gonna change. So before I get going with my seven forever apps, think about what could be in this category for you. I'd love to hear in the comments uh, what apps fall into this category for you guys. Uh, what apps do you absolutely love, couldn't live without, and really are not interested in replacing anytime soon? So the first app that comes to mind when I think about this forever concept is Things. Uh, Things 3 is the current version, and this is what I use for task management, uh, just for my personal task management, for work task management. Uh, this isn't for projects, this isn't for the huge stuff, like my YouTube channel runs through something else, but I use Things for keeping track of all the things, all the little things I need to do in my life. And so it's really great for that. Uh, I've done many videos on Things. You can check those out. I'll try to put some in the description. Uh, but yeah, I think Things is just a wonderful app. I don't have any other task managers on my phone. I don't check really the updates on these other apps because frankly, the only new task manager that I'm interested in checking out is Things 4 whenever that happens. The next one is an app that I've called my favorite app on any platform period, and that is Ulysses. Ulysses is a writing app, it's a note-taking app, it's kind of whatever you want it to be, it's a publishing app. And so I love this app, I use it for my blog, I use it for writing every blog post basically in the past like five to 10 years, however long Ulysses has been out. That's how long I've been using it and I adore it. Uh, it's like 40 bucks a year, so it is kind of expensive for uh, some, a note taker, but in a world where Rome research exists and like these more expensive apps exist, it's not that crazy anymore. Uh, but basically I use this to publish to my blog. I use it to do some just personal writing and it's absolutely my favorite way to write. Next up is an app called Reader. This is an RSS reader uh, for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And it's on version four right now. It is just unbelievably spectacular in every way. It's fast, it's beautiful. It works with a wide array of RSS sync services. It can sync your own feeds if you want. Uh, I don't think I've done a video on this one, but I maybe should. Basically, there's tons of RSS readers out there if you're on Apple platforms, and this is by far the one that I just adore the most. I have no intention of leaving anytime soon. This next one I made a whole video series about. I have 14 videos on ScreenFlow, plus a few before that actually. Uh, ScreenFlow is what I use to record my Mac screen for a lot of the videos that you see on this channel. Uh, this video is actually gonna be edited in ScreenFlow even though I'm not really recording my screen for it uh, because I love it as an editor. And so ScreenFlow is just great. Uh, they do paid updates every couple years and I've paid for like three updates now. It's on ScreenFlow version nine. Uh, they did a free update for Apple Silicon Macs. I absolutely adore this app. Check out the many videos I've done on this to see why I like it. All right, three more left, and then these I think are a little less forever, but they're pretty close to forever for me. Uh, the first one is 1Password. 1Password is what I use to manage my passwords, uh, obviously, <laughs> but uh, I know there's other options out there. LastPass is kind of the big alternative, although their free plan is getting way more limited. 1Password um, is not free, it is paid, so I'm used to paying a $5 a month subscription for it, but it's absolutely wonderful for getting my passwords across all of my devices, for having a shared vault with my wife so she can have her own set of passwords, and they don't clutter my vault or anything, but if I need them, I can access them on our family plan. So I love 1Password, I have no intention of leaving this one, of course. Then there's Fantastical, uh, the only calendar app that I've ever really enjoyed. <laughs> this one is uh, also went to a subscription recently. I know some people are upset about that, but uh, there is the old version. If you still um, have that, you can still use it, of course. But Fantastical is just, it's a fantastic calendaring app. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, it's just absolutely wonderful to use. Uh, some of the new features they added this year with like being able to join meetings with like two clicks just in your menu bar. You can like click the Zoom meeting link or the Google Meet or Hangout, whatever uh, your 
calendar event has uh, saved as the way to join the meeting. You can join it with a click, which is so wonderful in the past year. Uh, Fantastical is absolutely my calendaring solution everywhere. And Bringing Up the Rear is an app that I keep wanting to make a real video about, but I can't. I'm really struggling with it for some reason. Uh, it's Keyboard Maestro, and this is an app on your Mac that lets you automate things. I do so much with this, from text expansion to automating some repetitive work that I have to do numerous times a day. Um, when I looked at, uh, it keeps track of like how much time it says it saves you. Uh, since January 1st, when I kind of re reformatted this computer, uh, my work computer, it says I've saved 21 hours, uh, which is, yeah, that totally makes sense. That's three work days of stuff that I've automated. and. I do so much with it. I really want to make a video on this app because it's wonderful. I think it's a really hard app to explain. It's really in intimidating, I think, to a lot of users. Uh, it was intimidating to me for many years, and then it finally clicked with me, and it's just so great. It lets me do things on my Mac that I never thought I'd be able to do. Uh, so it's similar to shortcuts on the iPad and iPhone. More powerful, um, but more complicated in many ways. Regardless, it does incredible things, and I have, I see nothing else on the market that's even close to doing everything this app does, and I am not leaving anytime soon, which I said a million times this video, but it stands, uh, I, I stand by it. I'm not leaving this app anytime soon. So those are seven apps that I think of as forever apps right now. Uh, I hope that they will remain that way for quite a while. Some of these have been my forever apps for years, and so I think they're gonna stay that way for quite a while. I also think about Hey Email, which is less than a year old for me, uh, so I don't know if I've used it long enough to call it a forever app, but I really love that too. Um, but anyway, uh, let me know in the comments what you think are some of your forever apps. I'd love to hear what they are. If they're in a category that I don't have a forever app in yet, maybe I'll give it a shot and see if it can fit that need for me. So uh, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you here next time on A Better Computer. Bye-bye.